So it's me, As It Goes Right, and today's video is going to be February's favorite. The reason I'm doing this video, this video is because every time, I, every time I see a video like this, like Crazy Ray Ray, I love her. She's my inspiration. Um, she's an amazing person um, and everything. I love her. And before I start, I'm using a different camera, so this is going to be like um, not as much as better focusing, I guess. I don't know. I'm using the Rebel... The EO, EOS Rebel T2i, which is my mom's camera for this video, and I really thought that it would be an amazing camera to use for this video, and I have a candle burning in the background, and it's warm vanilla sugar. And of course, I have my granny pig right beside me, so sorry if there's any loud noises. And yeah, so let's get on with February's favorites. So the first favorite is kind of random, but it's been my iPod Touch. Oh my gosh, I've been loving this bad boy for such a long time. It's someone with a little camera. I've been loving this thing. It's like my favorite electronic. I do have my old one. I'll grab it. It's right here. This is the one I'm selling to my friend. I'm not going to say her name because her family doesn't really want her on um, YouTube so I'm very very sorry. But this is the one I've been loving and I love the case. Um, these are just an amazing iPod for like quick videos. And I think they work pretty amazing to me. So my second favorite products are kind of the same. I've been loving their Bath & Body Works lotions. Oh my gosh. So these are the two lotions I've been loving. I know I bought this one yesterday, but I've seriously been loving it. This is my one I've been loving like the most of all the lotions. So this is the Dark Kiss um, body lotion. And this is the Vimeen with Johoba and Shea Butter. And that's infused. Oh my gosh, like, this smells so good. It smells like a flower that I can not really name. I don't know why, but I can't really name this flower for some reason. It just smells so good. Oh, I love it. And I also have the collection to it. I seriously, I really, really recommend Dark Kiss. Go buy this. You guys will fall in love with it. I've only known one person who absolutely hates it. Who would hate this scent? Oh my gosh. Really go buy Dark Kiss. Like, that's an amazing scent to go buy. The second one I got from the Bath & Barbara's party is the Signatures Vanilla Lemon Citrus one, which is currently, um, what's it called? Um, I forget what the name is called. This is, like, old stock, so it is, um, not, like, expired, but, like, retired... Don't make it, like, don't sell it anymore. I forget what it's called. But I love this one. My mom has the apricot one, and she's been in love with it. The only thing, the bad thing is, is it doesn't have the spray to it. And the bad thing is, I can never open this thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Help. I love it. it. smells like a lemon. Exactly like a lemon citrus. I really recommend this this bottle so I'll really go buy it so the next two products have been for my face and I've seriously been loving these two products because they have been clearing out my face from any blemishes that I absolutely hate on my face I think everyone hates blemishes on their face I absolutely hate them so the first one is the clean and clear jewel action moisturizer um, this pretty much prevents you from getting any breakouts. Um, I use this before I do my makeup, and this makes my face look ten times um, cleaner and everything. So I really like this. Um, this is a bit on the pricey side, but you don't really have to use a lot of this product to get the satisfaction you will like. Um, I know I don't really get, like I don't use a lot of it. So I have that product. And then I also have the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightener Facial Cleanser. I use this, um, like I wash my face every single day before I do makeup because um, I always think to myself, dirty face means makeup's going to turn out horrible. So I always wash my face and I love it. It smells so good. It smells like papaya. That's the thing it is. Lemon and papaya. So I, I always think to myself, Dirty face means your makeup is not going to look the best. So I always make sure my face is pretty much as clean as I can get it. The next little product 
is lip balms. I've been so in love with this lip balm. It's the EOS lip balm. Um, I do have three. I have the blue one, which is sweet mint, and then I have the red one, which is sour mint. But this one has been the best. This is um, honeydew, no honey, honeysuckle honeydew, I think, and I love it. They're so like small and cute, and they smell amazing. I love it because it makes my lips feel so soft. Like it literally makes your lips soft, and does it helps them from getting cracked. And my lips. Well, sorry, move the camera. Um, my lips get cracked during winter because the cold air dries your lips out. That drives me insane. So these have been the trick to help my lips feel so much more moisturized, less dry. Um, just been the best, really. That's what's been helping me. <laughs> sorry. So the next products I've been loving are been brushes. Like I have my two favorite brushes I've been using. So these are both it. These are both by e.l.f. You can get these like a dollar store for like so a buck twenty-five. So I'm gonna talk about this cute little guy. So this is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I am loving this brush because it makes your eyeshadows um go on so much better than like um other brushes, I guess. Because e.l.f. is like a really cool brand. And I really love it because it's really like small and it's like easier to apply your eyeshadows a lot better. The next brush I've been loving is the e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. So this is the one I use for like blushes, foundations, um, stuff like that. Loose powdered items. And this is what the brush looks like. And it's like really, really like seriously soft and it does like apply it so much more better to anything I've been using. Uh, like, this is the best brush I've ever had. So next product I've been using is my mom's. I kind of use it a bit. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this, but I kind of jacked it from her. So the product that I've been covering up my blackheads with so it doesn't look less noticeable is the Revlon Photo Ready Perfect Primer. This is what it looks like. And it comes in this, like, little cute little packaging. The lid just went flying. Oh, my God. Okay, I got the lid back. So this is like a really good um, primer, and this is just in 001. And this, seriously, I have blackheads all around my nose, and it kind of fades it down, but doesn't get rid of it. It just fades it down, so your blackheads are seriously less noticeable when you're trying to wear foundation or bronzer or something. And this can be a bit pricey, but it's really, really, really worth it. So the next four products are all eye products that I've been loving to use for my eyes. So the first product is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio. This is in charcoal and this is a gel eyeliner. I really, 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 really love the gel eyeliners. So they kind of look like this. I don't know if they'll focus, but kind of look like that. These um, apply so well with a brush like So if you use a br brush just like this, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's kind of an angled brush. These work um, really, really well to apply your gel eyeliners with because it's an angled brush and angled brushes are pretty much the best way to apply gel eyeliner. Next product for my eyes is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer Slash Brightener. This is um, really, really good because one, the um, applying process is really easy because of the soft bristle brush. It's nothing like really hard to apply. And you pretty much just twist the bottom and the product gets pushed up and it comes out of the little um, applicator at the top. Um, this does, when you apply it, Ew. Okay, when you apply this, um, it does brighten your eyes up for your eyeshadows. Um, I use this as an eye, as an eye primer, as it says, to make my eyeshadows stand out more because sometimes my eyeshadows don't last as much because I don't have this on. So this is an amazing product. And this is um, a bit pricey, but it's really, really, really worth it. Next two products are mascaras. I've been loving these too. They have been giving my eyes, um, my lashes, full length because I do have 
sort of short lashes that are kind of hard to volumize at the same time not be overwhelming so yeah so the first mascara is the uh, Maybelline Nair Great Lashes lots of lashes black is black so this is the packaging and I'll show you the wand I love these types of wands because they do kind of work a lot better than the um bristle ones i feel like the bristle ones just clump your lashes up while these ones separate them but still coating them good enough to give it the full effect of mascara the next one i think is by covergirl yeah covergirl exact eye lights and this is in black gold so pretty much this has a gold tint in it and i love wearing this um every once in a while again the brush is amazing it is a rubber brush which means your mascara will apply 10 times better will not clump it separates your lashes amazingly and i got some over my hand sorry um like your lashes don't clump up at all it's really really good i really, really like using this i feel like it does work amazingly to wear for your lashes next product is blush i've been having my favorite blush it's kind of my mom's again but she's been really using it so the blush that i've been using is benefit georgia um one and this is um just peach colored and this is what it comes with it comes with this cute little brush which i think is adorable and this is the color of the um blush and it's really really peachy it doesn't show up like massively that's what i like about it. like sometimes if you just want like um a little hint of blush but you don't want it to be like powerful this is a really amazing way to go um to put on your face and this does give your face a really magnificent glow final product are my my um sorry my eyeshadow palette this is just by claire's i know it's a really cheap brand and it's already been breaking a bit um i know this is like a cheap brand of eyeshadows but this for me works amazing because it has all the nude colors that I can dream of that I would actually wear um this yeah as you can tell a lot of them fell off because it's I had to re-glue them um but this um product really works for my eyes I'm not gonna pay a good amount for an eyeshadow when I can just grab a really like cheapish brand a drugstore brand type of eyeshadow and it'll still work exactly the same there's no really difference i know mac has mineral pot, paint pots i think but i'm not gonna go the expense of paying 20 bucks for one end yeah so when you can just pretty much go get a drugstore brand or a claire's brand and works exactly the same and it is a wonderful so I hope you guys enjoyed today's February favorites. I know this video will be um, a probably a good hit. I will be doing March favorites, which will probably be a bit similar, but might spice it up a bit. And if you guys will like, you can comment down below if you guys like this camera quality. Like, I know it doesn't focus at all, but um, I want to know if you guys like this camera quality um, a lot better than my actual little camera. I actually really like it because it does give me more AV option, I guess. Um, it does work amazingly for a camera and everything, and I really, really like it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys all next time for another video. And remember, comment down below if you guys like this comment, and if you guys have any requests to do anything i will for surely do it and make sure i will do it for you and i know i just repeated myself so i will see you guys all next time bye guys